Hi. In this video, I'm going to talk about what are the multivariate time series uh, models. Okay. In uh, in a, a channel, we have talked about uh, the univariate time series model, and we all also talked about the structural models. Okay. So. Uh, what we mean by structural models are the regression based models and we also talked about the forecasting models like the univariate time series model and one of the questions that is often asked is how are these two models related can we have models which combines the univariate time series analysis and the structural models okay and that question cannot be answered by un uh, without understanding what a time multivariate uh, time series uh, analysis okay so let's try to understand what we learned in, in numerate time series models and what are structural models and how are this combined in multivariate time series so in univariate time series we learned that uh, if a series yt is uh, is a stationary series it can be uh, the future values of yt can be uh, it can we can forecast the future value of uh, the time series uh, yt uh, by taking its past values okay and then uh, there will be an intercept and there will be a uh, slope coefficient uh, and the error term has to be white noise right so yt is a stationary time series it is a linear combination of its past values yt minus 1 and yt minus 2 and so on so this is basically a uh, uh, AR1 model, right? We can also have an AR2 model by including uh, more lags, right? AR2, AR3, and so on. We can also have these error terms included, thereby uh, including the moving average terms. So we can have MA model and we can combine these models to form the ARMA type models, right? Both the uh, lags of the time series at the same time, the error terms. Right, and if it is not in, uh, uh, stationary, we can take the difference of that and you know build what is known as the ARIMA type model. Right, first uh, in uh, uh, take the difference and then apply the ARMA class of models to it, and then it becomes the ARIMA class of models. Right, so that's all about the univariate time series analysis. So what are structural models? In structural models, we uh, have dependent variable and then we have independent variables. Dependent variables are in, in most of the times different from the independent variables. I mean they are different, uh, totally different variables. Okay. One other example could be, let's say we are finding out the unemployment rate. So unemployment rate is the dependent variable and we are building a model uh, just to know how inflation inflation in a particular country uh, affects the unemployment rate right so this is a typical structural model it's a regress simple linear regression model wherein we're trying to see how inflation in the country affects the unemployment or how are they related or can we forecast the unemployment rate based on inflation the value of inflation and then we are trying to find out uh, or try to uh, find out the uh, regression estimates like beta naught and beta 1 which are the intercept and the slope coefficients all right so that's the way most structural models are we do not have a time component here we do not have a time component for um you know uh, for a particular you know we can have unemployment rate uh, for different states in let's say in us or india or in, in different countries in europe so these are like you know unemployment rate in different states in India, and we have uh, uh, okay let's say these are unemployment rates in different countries in Europe and inflation rates in different countries in Europe, okay, and that's how you build build a model structural model. But we do, normally do not have a time component in structural model, right? We do not have time series uh, variables variables which change with time. And one of the reason, uh, you know, time component of variables with time, uh, which vary with time, are not present in 
structural model is because of the problem of autocorrelation. So the problem of autocorrelation is, is a typical case in which the, uh, the errors of a regression models are correlated with each other. And that is seen because if we keep on, uh, if we use uh, a time uh, varying variable, its values will be correlated uh, over time, right? And that will impact the error terms and the error terms will eventually, uh, will also, uh, you know, be correlated. And that validates one of the assumption in ordinary least square estimation that is uh, the errors has to be uncorrelated or errors should not show any pattern uh, the error has to be totally uh, you know uncorrelated with each other the problem of autocorrelation is found out in such cases right and hence normally there has to be a lot of uh, uh, changes in the model specification has to be made in order to do the regression with time varying uh, independent variables right so these are there's a basic diff fundamental difference between univariate time series and structural models whereas univariate time series only uses the past values nothing else structural models on the other hand do not use the time varying um, uh, uh, time varying uh, independent variables it's rather uh, includes variables which change with cross section okay we change with uh, cross section as in it could be uh, countries it could be states it could be different groups right so x can be dip for different countries inflation can be for different countries unemployment can be for different countries and so on but normally inflation uh, unemployment and uh, inflation for a particular uh, you know given time period or changing time period is not taken right and if uh, you know only the time varying uh, pattern uh, is something that is of interest then one goes for the invariant time series models the multivariate time series model combines this these two things okay the multivariate time series models include the lags of the same time series it also includes the lags of um, an independent variable uh, or a factor okay so the specification include both uh, multiple variables and it also has a time series component and hence is this class of models are known as the multivariate time series models so here is the specification so this is the specification that you can see yt is is a linear combination of its past values its own lags plus the past values of another independent variable x okay and both yt and xt are stationary time series stationary time series and et uh, the error term is is white noise okay all right so what you have seen here is that that the specification in the, uh, the model specification is uh, not only having the lags of the same variable uh, same variable interest it also has uh, lags of some other variable which is supposedly uh, supposed to be interest uh, uh, related to uh, yt or maybe xt in uh, in some way is affecting yt okay so that is a structural component right so we have now the so to say independent variable right and the question is does the estimation is same as what is uh, there in the structural models right we can we use ols can we use the same type of maximum likelihood the way we used to use for structural models will uh, the assumption the classical linear regression assumption hold in this case now these are all complicated uh, questions to to be answered and we'll see in another uh, video where we'll, we will discuss about the estimation procedure for a multivariate time series model. And one of the popular time series model which is multivariate is the uh, vector autoregression. Okay. The vector autoregression. Uh, okay. Or popularly known as a VAR model. Okay. So the VAR model uh, is, is some form of multivariate time series models and we'll see how we can estimate a, a, a VAR equation. Uh, a model which is specified using vector autoregression. 
Thank you for watching this video and please subscribe to our channel. Thank you.